What's up? Welcome everybody. What's up? This is day 470 making song right here today. I'm doing procedural audio part four. This is finally getting to be some um, finally getting to be some mature procedural audio here. We got uh, you can see on the screen we got four different notes that it's chosen based on the world seed and the dungeon number and all that. Um, now we have an intensity factor too. So as I'm clearing out more and more of these enemies from this screen, the music gets less and less intense until the point it gets back to where it's it's old level this is before i started this whole procedural audio thing the old level is where it's kind of the music sounded like this pretty much all the time so um now i'm gonna start working on some flow features like for example when i go up here it plays this different sound which is not the procedural audio thing so it's switching into kind of a different musical mode and then when i go back into this room it doesn't restart the sound so I'm gonna start working on those little flow things like that and then eventually I'll work on um, making it so the index <clears throat> the index is the number of the screen that you've gone to kind of like the order whatever you start out at zero it goes to one two three and it goes back to zero and it just keeps on looping like that so um, the index determines what musical elements are part of the song at that point so um, I'll be working on adding more elements to this track here so that there's index two and three can sound a little bit different. So first of all, the flow features, this might be a short stream. I'm not sure exactly because, um, I got some stuff to do this afternoon. So <clears throat> let's get started. Hold on a second. We got this. It's rolling. We rolling. All right. So the first thing is to make it so the music can stop. It doesn't quite stop yet. Well, the, the procedural music doesn't stop. If you stop the music system, so we got kit, stop sound. We need to check if it's an old event. It's an old event that we want to actually call kit stop of sound event. Old music file name. Fade. Sure. Go ahead. Allow it to fade. Okay, I'm gonna set a breakpoint here. Let's see if this is actually working. Boo. So we're stopping. I want to make sure the old music. Oh, damn it. We've already lost our old music file. This is not going to work. Where did we lose old music file at? Probably when it paused. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually here in the fades. Fades has the ability to fade out these musical events too. And I think it's, oh yeah, it's just event name. All right, so we need to check if we have an event name in our current fades. If fade.eventName.empty, then we go kit stop sound event event name true oops otherwise we can just stop sound fade not sound ID let's try that eh eh looks like the chat might be broken today yeah Nice, it worked. Let's set a breakpoint just to make sure that did work. Started fading it so it had a fader going for that that event name there. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely doing that. And then clearing its fades afterwards. So that's good. We got one piece of the flow finished. 
Let's check this in. Okay, now let's get to the part where it starts playing a different kind of sound and then doesn't start the new kind of sound ever again. I wonder what's going on there. This is going to require a little more exploration. sound all fade out, I go to this next room. Oh, it works. I guess maybe it's if it's still fading. Ah, there's the problem. Okay, so it's still fading out. I went into the next room and it didn't work. And weirdly, it does this, where it's like fades out again. When it gets back in this room. Okay, this will, this should shouldn't be too hard to figure out. What's going on? What's going on? So it starts. It should start playing the new event. It calls music system fade right when it plays. I guess we need to clear out. I guess we should clear f or any any fades. Clear fades that match this event. For uh, delete. What well, I got this? Um, what's it called? What's it called? Remove. Remove elements. Delete element. God, I never remember what the hell is. Random element. Erase. Erase if. Okay, so we're going to erase from fades. It's a vector of faders into var name fade. Do erase code if fade dot event name equals this. New music file. Ah, damn. The only thing about this is kind of sucks is I can't really debug this very well. Other than maybe doing something like this, um, fade count equals fades dot size, and then do like a names debug. Alert. Da 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 da. You can't have. You don't have a nims. Debug alert. <clears throat> um. We'll go fade count is percent D old percent D new fade count ah. all right there 
So now we can see what how many faders there were, how many faders there are now. I can think the chat's broken. I'm sorry, guys, if anybody's trying to chat right now. I, I thought I clicked stream. Just restarting Twitch here. to the screen up here. Over here. I saw that fading out. I go back to this room. Fade count two to one. Good. Once again, we have a fader here. Nice. I think I fixed it. Looks like a fix it. Very cool. Downstairs in this Verloc room. Good, that fixed it. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this and this little debug, but keep it. All right, music system better. Music system removes fader if starting event with same name. All right. Well, God, that was fast. Those are the two things I wanted to do as far as flow goes. So. Let's work on um, Ableton. Let's open up this. Uh, we're gonna go to level one. See, we got a few different more musical elements that we can throw into this track based on the index parameter. There's two sub things that I haven't used yet. This one. spooky I love it it's kind of like spacey okay so this will be this one will be chir chirpy um, two, two and three and this will be like base two base two and three uh, there's gonna be a lot of exports here. All right, <clears throat> quicker I get this going, the faster this is gonna go. So I need to copy everything from this sub here, sub track, over to my little export e track thing. So we're going to add two tracks, sub zero, sub one, this is going to be sub two and three. Sub two, blip. Okay, good. I need to check on the spectrum to make sure this is all going to fit into the mix well. But sub 2 is going to have the same thing as that there. Uh, 
Um, does this? I think. Oh yeah, I think this is meant to play along with those tracks, so I don't need to do these twice. That's good. Yes, yeah, so this will be sub two. Don't need to record that. Just need to check its levels. Um, and then, oh, and uh, I. Let's just duplicate that track. Sub three should be these notes. God, I love Ableton so much better than FMOD's FMOD Studio app. All right. <clears throat> Level one C. I want to make sure these are the same notes it was playing. Well, it looks like the chat's not working today. Must be Twitch, Twitch doing something Twitchy today. At least this will be a YouTube video. I'll just chat with myself. So I'm looking at the notes. Oh, these are simpler. These are much simpler notes. Okay, so I just want to do one, two, one, two, one, two. Same pattern as bass two in that other song. Yeah, one, two, one, two. Get right on there. We go. Right? Yep. Just two notes. Two notes it ever plays. So if you're paying attention to the process I'm using here, basically what I'm doing is I, I writ, I wrote these songs. I writ. I wrote these songs in Ableton, and then I basically have to go and take each one of these, each different track that I want to make procedural, in other words, part of the procedural melody, it can change its note, and I have to re-export every one of those with 12 different notes. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm taking my existing musical sketches, if you will, and making them just better by making them be able to be procedural and also adaptive, meaning that uh, elements of the drums can come in and out based on the intensity of the game at that point. So we don't want this track, we want sub. This track, yeah. This should be A. C or B zero. D sharp two. Oh yeah, it's two whole octaves lower. It's kind of neat though, man. I think this is a this is a serendipity right here. I'm gonna roll with this. 
just gonna edit this sub threes EQ so it doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, look at that, we got some peaks. No wonder. Whoa, God, right there at 483. Which one of you culprits is the culprit? Kind of that one. Still. Why is it's like eight still? Oh. Still. Okay, let's turn it down. 483. 497 even. Still fairly. Oh, it's right there? What? Oh, 497. Yeah, okay. It's like, what? Am I going crazy? A little wide there. Still a little too much. What? Okay, it's like, I think it's sometimes a little higher. 540 even. This is peculiar. Probably should just fix the noise. In massive. Yeah, it's just uh Hold on. I just want to hear these two sounds. <laughs> Maybe not, that's kind of cool. See, I want to see more of this bass though. Well, no, it's all the way down at negative 60. I shouldn't worry too much about this. Okay, let's export all this. Good enough. All right, so we're gonna start with this track. This is D sharp, we'll put it down to C. mono. Something I did not note when I first started exporting all these is that they're mono, which kind of helps the mix, but does limit the individual sounds in the sense that sometimes I'm using some dimensional expansion and chorus and other things that kind of sound cool in stereo, but it's just each one of the sounds is mono. So I can do some cool stuff in F mod if I really want to make a more stereo. But I don't, I don't know, it kind of sounds good the way it is, so. It's gonna be L1, bass two, did I just do C? I think I did. All right. So I'll bass two, bass three, chirpy two, chirpy three. So there's 48 sounds I got to render here. Going to take a minute. Is that A? Yeah, A. Is that A? A?
This is taking a minute to render this audio to disk because I'm soloing this track. The way Ableton works is, it, you know, pretty much any DAW kind of works this way, is that you can sidechain things, which means it's one track might depend on another. So even though it, I, it's only rendering one of these tracks right here, it really has to render it all just to make sure that one track sounds as it would. So that's why this is taking so long to export just this one track, which is it's really the only way to actually stop it from using that much resources and taking this long to render is actually to go in and turn off the every one of these instruments because they're all massives. Massive is kind of a CPU hog. What's up, T? Hey, the chat is working today. What's going on, T? What you doing, man? So we got a B now. Ah, three down, 45 to go. I did C, let's do C sharp. You're still your turn two years yesterday. And now people are buying. Isn't that crazy? It's funny how sales work like that. In my experience with sales, it's been kind of like that too. Sales are like really effective. Some people are just sitting there waiting for your game to go on sale. Especially like on Steam, from what I heard. D. You're rich! Five dollars! Oh, you know what? That's a really significant thing. I know it's only five bucks, but that is awesome. It reminds me of the scene in um, in uh, Tenacious D's The Pick of Destiny when he goes out and he's like, look, I made this money with my rock. It's pretty sick. It's a, it's a, it's a milestone, man. Yeah, well, yeah. You could call it a financial failure. You could call it a flop, but the... But it really is a milestone in your in your game development career to make any money at all from a video game, especially in today's video game market when things are where there's so many video games to choose from. It's it's a buyer's market, you could say. So, milestones, man, you're on your way. Yeah, totally. Future product products better and better. Always forward. All right, this one's an E. Well, this is kind of the boring part of the stream, but I can show you what I've been doing so far. I'll just finish this one, get it to G sharp, and then I'll do, and then I'll show you what I've been doing. Then I'll come back and do the other three. F. Oh, my girl's home. That means I might gotta get going here. I think that's my girl. Is that my girl's car? We got an appointment this afternoon. Oh, yes. 
It is. I think I might have to get going. Depends. HIO is not a platform that sells much. Wow, you're in the top sellers list? That's great. Well, I didn't know that about itch. Yeah, well, I, I kind of would. That makes sense. It seems like that, you know, it seems like a lot of games are are like that on itch. It's like almost like a game jam type of place where, you know, you just you write a game jam game, throw it up on itch.io so people can play it for free. Game Jolt seems kind of like that too. But I don't know. I haven't tried Game Jolt really. So we got G. sharp flood what's up man okay we got all 12 of those rendered there's still three more sets of 12 to be done, but I'll show you what I've been doing so far today, since y'all are here now. Nice, stop by for a bit for going to bed. I'm great, man. Things are going really, really well. Working on procedural audio here. So, um, yeah, the game has procedurally generated melodies now and also adaptive audio. So when I get in, this track sounds a lot like it used to, right? If you remember from the game, this is about what the music or the ambience used to sound like. But now it has four different notes there on the left. You can see um, it's it's chosen note E, G sharp, B and D sharp for this dungeon. So. It chooses notes based on your dungeon and your world seed. So this is actually a procedurally generated melody. The two different notes you're hearing in this melody have been chosen from the world seed, basically. And then you've got an index parameter and an intensity, too. So when I go into this room, the intensity jumps up to one, and um, it plays the drums. And then as soon as I start clearing out some of these enemies, the intensity goes down, parts of the drums go away, and then it gets back to how it used to be. Yeah, so this should, this should add a really, really dynamic element to the game. And also it's kind of cool because you can tell that you're in a room that there's still some enemies in because you, there'll, there'll always be some drums playing, even if it's just a hi-hat, if there's some enemies in the room. What's up, Zyger? Yeah, so, and also, the last thing is the index parameter. That's what I'm working on right now. So, this room is index 2. Index 0 plays the least elements. Index 1 plays a little more, and index 2 plays even more. So, this room right here, you can tell it, there's this one little chirpy sound that's not playing right now in the song, even though there's no, there's no enemies, there's no drums, but I'm talking about besides that, there's also a chirpy noise. So, that's what I'm working on now is exporting more of these sound effects that go into index two and stuff like that. So the music will still flow and be interesting even if there's no enemies. So it's a lot of work though, because each one of these each one of these tracks has to be re-exported 12 times. And so that means that I've got 36 more tracks to export just in these just for these two more sound effects I'm trying to add to the game. So and uh, yeah, I got to get going pretty soon. My my lady just got home and we got an appointment this afternoon. So I think we might have to get going uh, soon. Depends. She's kind of, she's still in her car checking her email or something. 
Thanks, Blood. So how's things been with you, Blood? This one's crazy. It sounds like underwater or something. Okay, that's a G sharp. We want A. All right, yeah, let's get this rendering. So this is base three, note A, start rendering. This is gonna take a minute, uh, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. So once I, you know, it's the thing about procedurally generated melodies and, and adaptive audio and all this stuff is it takes, a, it took me a long time to set up this system. But once I get the system in place, it should be a little faster to do each song. And once each song is all set up and it's all procedural, it's it's really going to be worth it, I think. it's It makes the game a lot more dynamic. Yeah, I do remember talking about kids. Well, In Feb, you're going to be a dad? Oh, congratulations. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, blood, that's so cool. Oh, man, I'm excited. My heart's filled with love. Dude, that's so significant, man. First baby girl. Right on. What's up, Pedro? You're excited as hell, sweet. Oh, man. So great. <laughs> Call her Jif. <laughs> Jibet. Uh. Yeah, man, that's so great. My lady and I want to have a baby too. It's not as easy as you'd think, man, just to have a baby when you want to. It's like, sometimes it's hard. That's why it's such a big deal to be, that's like, I really mean it. I really mean congratulations. That's awesome. Took us a year. Yeah, right? Whew, that's great. Oh, so after a year, bam. It's weird how that works, right? Some people don't want a baby and they have a baby. Some people want a baby and it's hard to have a baby. Babies are tricky. Babies are trolling us, man. Yeah, right? Yeah, I never thought it'd take more than a month. Yeah, so speaking of trying to have babies, I'm like not smoking any weed right now which is really hard. I've been, it's been about a month now where I haven't smoked any weed and man, without marijuana in my life, it's like, I have more energy, but I also have, I feel like I've, 
I feel weird. I don't sleep as well at night. It's hard. It's really hard. But it's going to be worth it. Baby. I'm streaming right now. We're we going to get going? Yeah, I just need to pull a couple things out of the car. You got to pick up a chair. Okay, so we're going like five minutes? Uh, or, yeah, about ten minutes. Ten minutes? All right. Just let me know. Yeah, raising a baby's harder. Yeah. Wait, did I just do F? I can't remember if I did F. Let's do F sharp. Base three. Oh, I forgot F. F. That's better. All right, so just G and G sharp left for this one. And there's two more sounds to add. So yeah, once all these sounds are exported and stuff, I'll go back here into um, FMOD and add in these um, basically four more tracks, which will all depend on the index parameter, whether they play or not. So it's kind of a really complicated pro not complicated, but lengthy. It's a lengthy process to make, to make procedurally generated melodies and adaptive audio and all that. But so far, from what I'm feeling, it's, it feels like really cool to play the game like this. And just knowing that it's a different melody for each dungeon, or I mean for each world seed. Or, well, I guess there's only, wait, yeah, there's seven different notes. Many, many different orders. So yeah, it's pretty much a different melody for every dungeon. Okay, there, we got G sharp. Done, all right, we got all those done. The next is to get the chirpy sound. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go copy the chirpy sound from level one C. This is kind of an alternate chirpy sound. Sounds like this. got a different note pattern goes da up da down so this is D that's an A that's a D that's an A okay so the first one here is an octave up all right so let's get this all in the way so we can get it exported when is baby food coming wizard well that's we got to be making it. like I said babies are hard to make for some people we're working on it I will definitely let you know. So chirpy, we need chirpy. Basically chirpy two and three. Oh, 
what what Oh, I had the wrong one. Uh, okay, I was like, why is it a pacing? All right, first of all, we want to get rid of the scale. I'm pretty sure get rid of the auto pan. Now we want to turn off these existing chirpy noises. We'll call this one chirpy two. We want to use this pattern. Probably this pattern. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. We're gonna need all the luck we can get. Oops. Uh. Okay, so I want to go back to the other track and make sure I'm I'm using the same note pattern. Really, this note pattern adds a lot of character to this. So I want to make sure I'm using the same one. I know I just looked at this. Okay, so it starts off and it uses D A two. So this is in the well, yeah, like A two and then like A one or D C two, whatever, C two, C one. <laughs> um, D2 and this one jumps up and then D2 jumps down I think I'm going to use this pattern so D2 up and then D2 down Oh, all right. Let me let me wrap this up. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's stream. We gotta get our appointment now. Um, we'll be working more on this uh, procedural music and stuff, adding more tracks and this stuff later. So, gotta get rolling. So I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all.